Yeah, back on track. Anderson Silva, the poor guy. He's got to retire. That man has to retire. It's as simple as that. You know why? Because his body is breaking. Things are getting brittle. In his 20s, that kick wouldn't have bothered him. But guess what? You get up. Snaps and breaks and rips and tears. You know, and that's all it is. There's no shame to the guy. You know, he's still got a lot of talent. And he can still do it. I, you know, humble brag, consider I still have a lot of talent and can still do it. But my body gives up on me. I've got too many injuries. I can't do it anymore. You know, at some point you're going to realize that. Otherwise, you're going to keep hurting your body more. I mean, I don't know what, what the official ruling is. I'm, pardon me. I'm assuming he tore his ACL. I, I, I think that's what it was. Listen, that was legit win for Jerry Cannon here. He went out there in the first round and you know he clearly won that round. Anderson didn't really do much. J- Jared was able to get off a few good shots. It wasn't a massively devastating round but you know he, he won the first round. Second round was kind of going the same way and then he landed a nice low kick. You know inside low kick boom that was it. And as I say in his 20s he would have taken that all day. In his 30s but at 44. 44 you know spring chicken Lewis. I want to see uh, Michael Bisping, Anderson Silva too, in like 20 years, and it's just going to be a few various body parts that are connected to like machines, and you guys will be, that'll be the, the, the fight of the future. Um, yeah, I think Anderson is, uh, look, he's, he's a legend. He still wants to fight, still wants to compete, love to watch it happen, but he's not going to be able to compete with the, the best of the best. Uh, if you, uh, have you ever seen the movie Unbreakable? Uh, what you mean, Bruce Willis, with, uh, Samuel Mr. Jackson? Class. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Class. that's yeah, what I yeah. feel like. This is the prequel to that movie. This is good. This is the young Mr. Glass. This is what happens. Nobody knows that he used to be the best middleweight fighter in the world, and then slowly but surely. Remember, I told you I don't like this fight for Sage Northcutt for his debut in one FC, in one championship. Why give him Cosmo Alexander? I feel we do. Cosmo, he's a little older. I listen. I don't give a. Alexander, who I've trained with at the Black Zealands, you can ask for Shot Evans, ask anyone who's out there. Cosmo is a one wants to spar with him. He let everybody the wrestlers that could try and grapple him. He would saw Cosmo Alexander. I went, that's a terrible idea for a young kid who's not really a striking expert like Cosmo. Why are we doing this? What benefit is this to, if you invest in and sign a guy like Sage Northcutt over to one championship, why in the f*** would you give him Cosmo? I, I, it makes no sense in any facet. So then I'm like, what is one championship doing? It makes me question, their, what are they doing? What was the reason for bringing Sage over? Dude, this right hand is... BAM! And they said it was on his face for a while too. He landed on his face. As a young, yeah. as a young kid. So hold on, I think he had eight skull fractures Here in his. Is. There he is. He looks. So Sage post so picture was up. fresh out of surgery. I had eight fractures in nine hour of intense operation. Feeling blessed, are you? Of course. I guess blessed you didn't die. Feeling blessed that I didn't die, and my face is only in seventeen pieces and not seventy, for the amazing care and all the support from one championship on this stage what who's his manager who is his man why why is this is this not obvious did we did anyone think that this was a good idea i told you guys why would he do this to why would they do this to say well you can get in there and grapple you're not a grappler that's not his background well you can wrestle you're not a wrestler no he likes to stand with guys and he's not at the level to stand with a world-class striker like cosmo why would we do this and they have small gloves on Tell me you got the Sage Northcutt thing on here. Yeah, of course. So one shot I fucking over. remember I told you I don't like this fight for Sage Northcutt. For his debut in one FC in one championship, why give him Cosmo Alexander? I feel we do. Cosmo, he's a little older. I listen, I don't give a fuck. Cosmo Alexander, who I've trained with at the Black Zealands, you can ask Rashad Evans, ask anyone who's out there. Cosmo is a motherfucker. No one wants to spar with him. He the trajectory of his career. And I hate to say this, because one championship's been good to us, and they've been good to Mighty Mouse, and it's obviously on the fighter. It's, it's up to him to navigate his way through the rankings of fighting. But you f- tell me.
tell me you got the Sage Northcutt thing on here. Yeah, of course. So one shot I just happened fucking, over. Remember I told you, I don't like this fight for Sage Northcutt. For his debut in one FC and one championship, why give him Cosmo Alexander? The people who do, Cosmo, he's a little older. I, listen, I don't give a fuck. Cosmo Alexander, who I've trained with at the Black Zillions, you can ask Rashad Evans, ask anyone who's out there. Cosmo is a motherfucker. No one wants to spar with him. He lit everybody the fuck up, even wrestlers that could try and grapple him. He would fuck those guys up. So when I saw Cosmo Alexander, I went, that's a terrible idea for a young kid who's not really a striking fucking guy. Fucking. That's, that looks like it could easily disfigure his face. I mean, look how it's dropping. You know what I mean? Like, it's horrible. I don't know how much they're paying him. I don't know what they're doing. Sage is a smart guy. He's an engineer at Texas A&M. You know how tough that school's getting to? I, if I'm Sage, I'm, I'm considering getting that fucking engineering degree. This isn't going anywhere, dude. Getting blasted in the face from Cosmo Alexander ain't going nowhere. Maybe take a break, especially you're gonna have at least a year and a half off. Take, don't, there's no rush. We're gonna your skills in the gym, get your degree while you're doing it, then come back. His manager should be like, ah, what the fuck were we thinking? Yeah, in hindsight, nah, fuck your hindsight. Let's look at this fight stylistically. It's a nightmare for Swayze Northcutt. In his first fight in a foreign land in Singapore, it means everything. What were you? Pros and cons. Pros. Sage Northcutt beats a world-class striker who's older. But everyone go, ah, he's older. Of course Sage beat him. Not a big deal. Because they don't realize the caliber striker Cosmo is. Cons. His first fight, won championship, signed a big mega deal. Everyone's tuned into it. He fights a world-class striker that fractures his face in 17 different places and gets knocked out in 30 seconds. Pros, cons. Fire Avenger. Buy one championship? That's true, yeah. His dad's like a uh, stage mom. Because I, he I heard that. I heard... Like he would be coaching him over for us at TriStar. So everyone's like, we're kind of good on Sage. His dad's insane. Everyone, everyone involved, his entire camp, one championship, his camp should be ashamed they let this happen. Yeah. Hope you're happy. What else you got? Um, so we kind of didn't cover this yet, right? RDA versus Kevin Lee. Be interested to see the numbers on this fight, man. Can't be good. Do we have any idea what they are? Probably not yet. Probably not yet. But Dan and I were talking to you. We saw the fight, and it just seemed like Kevin Lee, was his energy was just shot. What's going on? He's, he's kind of fallen. I love Kevin yeah. Lee. We've had him on the show. He's a great dude, great fighter. <clears throat> he's at 170, right? Yeah. Dos Anjos is a tough, tough, tough animal to, to go against. Also, when you talk about Dos Anjos, so I think my definition of gatekeeper is different than the rest of the world. So gatekeeper to me isn't like, oh, if you beat this guy, then because he kind of floats around the top 10, then you get in the top 10. Gatekeeper to me is the gatekeeper to get to the title shot. So if you can beat a talent like Dos Anjos, he's the gatekeeper and he's been a former world champion. He's at the level where he can beat anyone on the roster. Whether you're champion or you're ranked number 10, you're going to have problems when you fight Dos Anjos. He's the gatekeeper to where you beat him, then you're, in the, you're in, then you're in the title shot category. Then you're in the top three. A gatekeeper to me is what gets you from fighting contenders to a title shot. That's a get, contender gatekeeper. Especially a gatekeeper to me means you've been a world champion. You're still highly, highly productive. You still have a ton of skill. You can still beat anyone in the world. That's a gatekeeper. Not a guy who has 40 fights, wins one, loses two, wins two, loses... Nope. A guy who's at that high, high caliber level and who has been a world champion before. You beat him, then you're, you're, it's time to go, go to the big leagues, meaning top three, top two, title shot. So that's Dos Anjos, and Kevin Lee just wasn't there, right? So Kevin Lee's last fight... Let me see his, his last... He's fallen to hard times, and... I think, obviously, Kevin Lee has also, when I say fallen on hard times, a lot of it's due to his coach passing away. So since his coach has passed away, I don't think he took enough time off to figure out a right fit for him camp-wise. That is everything. So he had the Tony Ferguson fight, right? Lost that. 
Edson Barboza, remember that got a little tricky. And the other thing that should be noted here is Kevin Lee missed weight. So he fought Edson Barboza, lost. Remember, he went, did the stanky leg, but he still lost. He looked good doing it. Um, they fought Al Quinta, won, beat that, beat Al, which is never easy to do. And then, oh, I'm sorry, he lost to Al. What am I thinking? He lost to Al Quinta. Jesus, man. He lost Tony, beat Edson Barboza, but still got a little trouble on that one. Lost to Al, then just lost to Rafael Dos Santos. This isn't a matter of skill here. This isn't a matter of is, is Kevin Lee a top five, top six guy. He definitely is. To me, it's a matter of his training camp. I think he rushed way too soon, thought, oh, we'll just figure this out, didn't find the right fit, and now he's suffering from those consequences of, of not taking the time. And I think he rushed to take a fight, and he was in the right camp. He's still not. He needs to get with a real camp. That's what's going on here. If he wants to change you know, his his losing ways, which he's in now, right? He's lost three out of the last four. He's going to have to switch camps, go to real camp. Can't stay in Vegas. Cannot stay in Vegas. Whatever you're doing, Kevin, you got to get out, dude. Have to get out. If you have not already, hit that subscribe button with its notification bell and leave a comment in the comment box below of what you thought of the video and tune in for more on MMA News Outlet.